<laughs> you know, we're, 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 it's 70 degrees right now in Knoxville, and it was sunny this afternoon, but there's a forecast of some potential weather tonight and to, into tomorrow. And so we have used nine of our available 10 inclement weather days, our snow days, for, uh, for this academic year. And so the concern, the potential concern, is if we had to make decisions around student safety that required us to um, cancel school um, another day or another two days, um, if we cancel school another two days, we'd be over our allotted number of snow days, and we'd have to figure out a way to, to make that up. So really, there's, there's sort of two potential paths there if we find ourselves in that situation. One is to ask for a waiver from the state of Tennessee. Uh, Dr. Candace McQueen, who is the Commissioner of Education, has signaled that she would entertain waivers to exceed the number of snow days for school systems in the state of Tennessee because um, Tennessee was in a, in a formal state of emergency uh, for several days last month. Um, so that's that's one potential option, and, and if we do, you know, if we do find ourselves in a position where in the next few days we've exceeded our inclement weather days, uh, I do plan to, to request a waiver. However, um, we know that that waiver could be denied, or we know that that waiver could take a while to get a decision, and we really only have one more uh, professional development day built into our calendar this spring. It's next Friday, a week from this a week from this coming Friday, March the 13th. And so that would be the natural place if we were going to convert a, a non-school day to a regular instructional day, to a school day. That would be the natural place to do it. And so we, we, uh, what I asked for this evening was the authorization to uh, convert, if necessary, to convert that professional development day on March the 13th to a regular school day, but only if necessary and only as sort of a last resort. What the, board, what the Board of Education was good enough to do this evening was really to give me uh, the latitude and the authorization to make good decisions on behalf of our kids, on behalf of our families, on behalf of our community to manage this uh, sort of unfortunate extreme weather situation uh, as best we can and uh, make the best decisions possible.